Good morning, good morning, and blessed morning to our Merdinian families and everybody else that will get to watch this video, worship with me, study the word with me. This is the morning that we believe, we know, we trust that our Lord has made. So what a great way to start not only this morning but this week yesterday we praised him i want to assume and hope you've participated in your church's live broadcast you've sang songs you've heard sermons and today we are together to worship him with our voices to open our hearts and our minds and know that god jesus christ is here right now Good morning. So, um, as we start, uh, if you know any of your friends who should be here online and they're not, this is the time to send them a text, to share maybe this broadcast, or to tell them, hey, I miss you. So let's get going, okay? What a beautiful way to start this Monday morning. Let me, let me pray and uh, ask you to pray with me as well. Father, I thank you for all your blessings. It is good to know, Lord, that you never get tired of us, that you never get tired of our voices, of our worship. You look forward meeting with your people, your children, spending time with us to build a faithful relationship, to remind us how much you love us, and for us to tell you how much we love you. I pray that your Holy Spirit will fill our hearts with a genuine presence of yours, that you are, Lord, right now in the midst of our gathering. Wherever my friends are, bless them. Give them strength, give them courage, give them wisdom, give them passion to continue doing the right thing, to continue growing, to continue serving you, Lord, and to continue shining a bright light of your love in this world. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. In Jesus' name, can you say amen, amen, and amen. Well, I started super early in the morning. Today was a uh, beautiful weather. I went outside. You can you can see behind the the, the windows. There's so much sun, and and, and I know it's uh, it really was tempting to say let's just go out and ride, be free. But then you're saying, well, wait, I have things to do. Well, you'll get to do the other things after you do these things because. This is what we're responsible for. And one of the things God really enjoys is when we show discipline in our daily lives of the things that depend on us. So before you go out there, enjoy. Let's worship. Let's study. Get your homeworks done. And then after that, you can go outside and play. Okay. God bless you outside, keeping that distance. Our first song for today. Let me get that PowerPoint going and we will start singing some songs all you have to do literally is repeat after me let me open here to make sure that I, I am following and i can read your comments here we go ready it's a fun song all you have to do is repeat after me the verses and then the chorus you're going to sing with me ready should we try it if anybody's sleeping in your house, it's a good way to wake them up. Here we go. I will worship. You said it. With all of my heart. And I will praise you. With all of my strength. That's right. And I will seek you. All of my days <clears throat> and then I will follow all of your ways. Say 
singing I could almost hear your voices sing why because uh, as I'm singing I can imagine myself in our in our beautiful chapel and uh, and hearing your good mornings and then asking you to to keep keep your attention on the lyrics and things like that I could I can't wait until we do that again but meanwhile this is a good opportunity remember only your family members are listening to you sing so Sing as loud as you can. This is the best time to practice and get your voice chords ready for when we return to that chapel. Amen. All right, let me teach you a, a quick, fast song. Fast meaning no. Quickly, a worship song. And then after this, we'll do our study. I love this song. It's called Waymaker. And I encourage you, after this broadcast, after you finish your homeworks, Go on YouTube and search for this song, Waymaker, and listen to it many times. And uh, it's going to help you a lot to realize how good, how powerful our God is. Okay, let me teach you this song. Here we go. You are here, moving in armies. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, working in this place, I worship you, I worship you. 
worship you. Let's say that one more time. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. Come on now. I worship you. You are here. You are here, working in. Attention to the lyrics. Try to say with me. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, lighting the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Simple, right? Follow me. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, lighting the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Amen. You are here, touching every heart. Come on. I worship you. I worship you. darkness my god that is who you are one more time <clears throat> way maker miracle worker promise keeper lighting the darkness my god that is who you are verse number three you are here turning lives around i worship you I worship you, amen, I worship you, yes you are, you are here, mending every heart, I worship you, yes Lord, I worship you. Say with me, Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. My God, that is who you are. Amen. Amen. That is our amazing, amazing God. Well, I have a word for you. So let me see what you're saying here. Um, well, I'm glad there's people connected. I thought I was by myself. No, it feels lonely in this, in this room, but I know there's a lot of you out there who are worshiping with me. And I will get to read your messages, but I want to get to also share a study with you. Okay. I don't know if you have your Bibles with you or not, but I have made a little PowerPoint for you. There you go. I thought of helping you this morning with a verse that is going to put things straight in our minds about who we are. So if, if you were in, a chap in the chapel, if I, was, if I could see you face to face, <clears throat> this is a question that I would like to ask you this morning. Here we go. Who are you? Ooh, that echoes. Let me say it with a, a large echo. Who are you? Right? Now, that, that was fun to do. Who are you? If I, if I just see you on the street waiting in a line, I don't know, at Costco or something like that, and, and I tell you, I'm sorry, who are you? And um, it, it's very interesting that I have noticed 
that whenever we introduce ourselves, uh, we rush immediately to um, put titles on us, right? We immediately tell people what we do. We tell them what we've achieved. We immediately go into those things. And I have a question for all of us today. Um, why is it that I am is not enough? Why is it that in our culture, it seems like if I just say my name, this is who I am without adding a title, an achievement, a position or something like that, it seems like I am the person who I am. It's not enough. It seems like the I am that God has given me life. It's not good enough, right? And the real value of life is when I introduce myself and I add a title to my name. Unfortunately, that has become a standard, right? Uh, if you want to follow someone, you want to know, right, in their in, in their credentials, uh, how much experience, and the, all that is good. But I, what I want to bring us back today, you and me, my friends, is that when it comes to a relationship with God, when I say, Lord, I am this person, I am Harut this morning. God says, oh, perfect. That's what I am interested in. That's what attracts God towards us, who we are, not our title. Not what we do or what we could even do for him. None of that. He says, I love you. And there's a period. He doesn't say, I love you because you do this for me. Because you've achieved this. Because no, none of that. When we go to God, it's very amazing that God explains himself in the Old Testament, in the New Testament as the I, capital letter, I am, capital A, capital M. And that is enough. I am is more than enough. And I think we have to go back to a lifestyle when it comes to God, where we can just relax and say, God, I don't have to impress you today. I am and, and who I am is what you loved, who you loved and that I am loves you back. That I am wants to spend time with you. That I am wants to know you more. That is what uh, impresses me every time from our God that I don't have to work extra to get his attention. Do some things for him to say, oh, wait a second. There is someone on the earth. No, none of that. He's ready and willing. This is what I'm saying. That I am God accepts you, welcomes you, and invites you as you are. When you talk to God, do not try to impress him with what you could do for him. I promise I'm going to do this. Don't promise him. Say, Lord, I am at your name, and I just want to say I love you. I just want to say thank you. I just want to say I praise your name for having me in mind for loving me so much let me give you a verse that it's very important for us to know because this is going to shape our identity as as christians as young people as old people whoever as as the people of god okay i have it on the screens and if you have a bible what i want you to do is later get that bible and highlight this verse and go to it every time you're confused about who you are for God. Okay, ready? It's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Let me put this down so I can hold my paper better. Here we go. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says, For we are, you are part of we, I am part of we, so we, us, we are God's handiwork, number one, created in Christ jesus to do good works which god prepared in advance for us to do <clears throat> one more time i want you to read it with me you have it on the screen here we go one two three for we are 
God's handiwork, don't rush, read with me, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Now, on based of this verse, let's answer these questions and we're done. Question number one, who are you? When you want to know who you are, remember, you are God's handiwork. You know, which is the best part, that hand part that means you carry God's fingerprints on you. God made you. You're not a standard. You're not one more. You're special. You're unique. God worked on you. God created you. So the very first question to answer is who I am. I was made by God, his hands. I am God's handiwork and you carry God's image. Number two, how we are created in Jesus Christ. We are a new creation, the Bible says. So you're not just born physically, but you're also born spiritually. Okay, you are God's handiwork. And at the same time, when you accept Jesus, you are created in Christ Jesus. Why? To do good works. See, what impresses God is his handiwork and created in Christ. And then after that says, well, guess what? Because you carry God's image, because you're born in Christ, now you can do good works. And last, when? It says God has prepared in advance. God has been where you are. God is in your tomorrow. God knows where you're going to face Wednesday. And then he knows exactly what's going to happen Thursday and Friday. And when we trust in God and saying, Lord, I was created in your image. I am a new creation in Jesus Christ to do these works. I have no doubt that you'll give me the strength, that you'll open the ways. Remember what we're singing? He's a way maker. He's a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. That's who our God is. So I want you to remember this, please. Whenever you introduce yourself, it is okay to have all those things in mind. But when it comes to God, the best part is relax. You don't have to impress him with all the things you do. You are special enough for God because he loves you as you are, period. He loves you. So keep this in mind as you go through this week, okay? Keep this in mind whenever you're alone and you need some prayer. So let me finish with this. Lord, I thank you so much for helping us to realize that who we are is, is who you love. And who you are is who we love. So this is not a give and take relationship, but this is I surrender relationship. And I thank you so much, Lord for giving us the opportunity this morning to realize that we are special in your eyes. We are your handiwork, born again in Christ Jesus to do good works, those works which you have already given us to do. We love you so much in Jesus' name, today and forever. Can you shout amen and wake everybody up? Amen. Amen. Well, Thank you all so much. I'm going to go, I'm going to watch screenshot so I can read all your comments. And thank you so much for joining this morning. I want you to go and get ready to start your day. So I'm not going to keep you anymore. Love you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for joining me this morning. God is with you and may God bless you. Have a good day and a good week. Bye.